Another daily tip. Do you have a few holes in your drywall that need patching? Me too. We nicknamed this house the Holy House for a reason. It's pretty common to see patches that end up looking like this if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to mix up some five minute mud with this consistency. You're not going to want to watch me fill the 97 holes in that room. So let's fast forward. Once that dries, we're going to be left with something like this. Now grab your sandpaper or sanding block and make it look like the top not the bottom. You got to get rid of all those edges. Okay, we're almost ready for primer, but let's take our game to the next level. Let's grab a sanding stick. We're going to take this sanding stick and lightly go over the entire wall to make sure there's no high points. Yeah, I muted myself here. It kind of looks like I'm talking to myself. Even I get annoyed with my own voice sometimes. Now, you might just think we're ready to get after it, but let me show you why we're not. If we just prime over this mud, we're going to have a perfectly smooth space. Down here, you can see that there's a little bit of texture from the previous roller. So what we got to do is we got to bust out a four inch roller and give it a quick little prime, just like this. That quick little prime is going to give that perfectly smooth surface a little bit of texture from that roller and then we can hit it with the big roller after it dries that step is so often missed and if you do miss that step it's going to show every single time it does not blend properly we'll finish off this room with a second coat with the big roller and once both of those are dry you'll never know that this room had 97 holes in it and remember like and follow because i will make your life easier